Australia has become ground zero for the Great Reset tyranny. The free people of Australia are under total assault by power-mad tyrants hell-bent on returning the heart of Oceania into a third-world prison by spreading the great COVID lie through its federations. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Australia to introduce an address by the head of government. High vaccination rates are the pathway to taking back so much of what we have lost. None of us is safe unless all of us are safe. So this is the most urgent priority. Australian politicians within the bubble of its constitutional monarchy have over the years revealed that they are not exempt from the criminal perversions of the global elite. Extraordinary claims coming out of Canberra tonight with a former Prime Minister allegedly on a list of suspected pedophiles. Liberal Senator Bill Heffernan, who is pushing for the Child Abuse Royal Commission to include the legal profession, told an explosive Senate hearing he has a police list of 28 prominent suspects. There's a former Prime Minister on this list, and it is a police document. Throughout my childhood, I was a victim of Australia's VIP child sex trafficking ring. For example, I was prostituted to pedophile parties at Parliament House Canberra and to an international leader at Fairbairn Military Airport. The people involved in this elite pedophile ring included high-ranking politicians, police and judiciary. And so it is the message of the elite that is dominating Australia. We believe in a world order that favours freedom and that supports the dignity and free expression of all people. We believe in human rights, in gender equality and the rule of law and we back that up with how we pursue these things in our own country, in our own society and how we raise our own children. Australia was one of eight countries only involved in the drafting of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And we continue to strengthen the international human rights system. And we will continue to raise our voice on important issues like the rights of women and girls, the rights of indigenous peoples, because respecting the rights and freedoms of the individual is intrinsically important. It is fundamental to our values as a people and as a nation. It lifts all societies and nations too delivering better outcomes through economic inclusion. So if you get vaccinated, there will be special rules that apply to you. Women's empowerment, environmental sustainability, rising living standards and so much more. Australia's actions are guided by our belief in the inherent dignity of all people. The edicts of social engineering waged upon the once free, isolated nation as it becomes the proving ground for the Great Reset. <laughs> The United Nations de facto imperialism has even managed to threaten the very lifeblood of the Australian economy, coal. Fewer than 10 years, that's all the UN has given us to close down our mining industries here in Australia. Assistant Secretary General Selwyn Hart released the UN roadmap at ANU's 2021 Crawford Leadership Forum today. Hart warned OECD countries have until 2030 to close their coal mining industries, commit to a net zero target by 2050 and lift their ambitions to cut greenhouse gas emissions more swiftly. The Greens and their uh, mega super uh, uh, profits tax going after the tycoons around every corner. Uh, if the UN gets its way and we get out of coal, we won't have any companies to be taxed. So the Greens will defeat their own agenda. If we stand up for Australia, we stand up for our own sovereignty and in the long run, deliver the global elite, the true enemy of all free peoples on this rock spinning on the same polar axis around the same sun, a defeat they will never forget. We the people are the true masters of the universe. John Bound reporting. Watch the American Journal weekday mornings, 8 to 11 central at band.video. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. The silent majority is no longer silent. This is The War Room with Owen Schroyer. Please stand by for further details. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. 